pericardial effusion should be measured in diastole. Aortic annulus should be measured in mid-systole, inner edge to inner edge, other aortic root dimensions measured in end diastole, leading edge to leading edge, LA is measured in end systole. Aortic annulus and LVOT diameter are measured in mid-systole. Mitral valve area, mitral annulus, tricuspid annulus are measured in mid-diastole. Normal mitral annulus is up to 30 mm, normal tricuspid annulus is up to 40 mm. Pressure half-time is not accurate if there is multivalvular pathology. You should use ECG. You should auscultate the patient before you start. Mitral valve prolapse is diagnosed from parasternal long-axis view only not apical four-chamber. Mitral valve prolapse, the tip of the leaflet is pointing towards LV, flail the tip of the leaflet is pointing towards LA. Rheumatic pathology is characterized by commissural fusion with involvement of subvalvular apparatus and usually multivalvular affection in addition to diastolic doming of the anterior leaflet, thickening and calcification and restricted mobility of posterior leaflet. LBBB and other conduction disorders are important causes of regional wall motion abnormalities. The recommended method for assessment of LV dimensions is 2D at the level of tips of mitral leaflets in parasternal long axis view and LV volumes by biplane Simpson's method. LA size should be assessed by using LA volume indexed to body surface area. The recommended method for assessment of EF for chemotherapy patients is 3D derived EF followed by global longitudinal strain, then MAPSI. Always index your measurements, especially for the extremes, too small or too large body surface area. Organic tricuspid valve disease is characterized by thickened leaflets with restricted mobility, doming, calcification, or prolapse. Do not diagnose ASD from apical four-chamber view except with color. Usually, there is dropout in the IAS by 2D. Subcostal view and suprasternal view should be always part of your study in all patients.